Now students, please look at question number 10 of page number 194. This is the last question of this exercise. Prove that 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a equal to 1 minus tan a by 1 minus cot a whole square that is equal to tan square a. The question is very clear. Here, from the LHS when we start, LHS, it is given, by, given that 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a. Is it students? That is equal to 1 plus tan square a. Tan we can write it as what? Tan is sine by cos. Is it? So tan square will be sine square a by cos square a. Okay. By in the denominator we have 1 plus cot square a. Similarly, cot we can write it as what in terms of sine and cos cot we can write it as cos by sine is it students so here instead of cos square a we can write it as what cos square a by sine square a hope it is clear now we will do the cross multiplication here in the numerator so cos square a into 1 that is what cos square a plus sine square a by cos square a by the denominator taking the LCM that is doing the cross multiplication sin square a into 1 that is sin square a plus cos square a by sin square a. Okay students, now we can see that here the numerators of this both fractions are same, isn't it? Cos square a plus sin square a, here also sin square a plus cos square a, both are same. So we can slowly cut. Okay, so that is equal to what? 1 by cos square a by 1 by sin square a. Okay, taking the reciprocal of the denominator and multiplying we will get that is equal to what? 1 by cos square a into sin square that is sin square a by cos square a. Hope it is clear. What is sin square a by cos square a? That is equal to tan square a. Okay, that is a required RHS. So, from here we start and we got this. Okay, students. Similarly, we will start from this. Okay, taking RHS. Hope this part is clear, isn't it? So, similarly, in the same way we can solve this also. RHS equal to what? 1 minus tan a by 1 minus cot a whole square. Okay, students, that is equal to what? 1 minus, we can follow the same step. Here, instead of tan square, we substituted sin by cos square, isn't it? It's square. So, similarly, tan, we can substitute sin a by cos a by 1 minus cot a we can substitute cos a by sin a then there is a whole square isn't it okay now that is equal to take taking the cross multiplication cos a into 1 that is cos a minus sin a by cos a by in the denominator taking again the LCM, sin a into 1 that is sin a minus cos a by sin a. Then there is a whole square with students. Okay, that is equal to. Now when we look at this numerators, here it is cos a minus sin a. In this denominator, it is what? Sin a minus cos a. Can we cancel this? No, both are different, isn't it? So what we will do is, to cancel, we will take a minus from this terms. Okay. Cos from cos a minus sin a, we will take a negative outside. So it will become minus of sin a minus cos a. Okay. By cos a by sin a minus cos a by sin a. Then there is a 
होल स्क्वायर ओके ऑप इट इज क्लियर ओके नाउ वी कैन कैंसल दिस साइन ए माइनस कोस ए एंड साइन ए माइनस कोस ए वी कैन स्लोली कैंसल ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो नाउ वर्ड्स रिमेनिंग आई कैन रॉक दिस इज इट Now what's remaining? Here, minus one that is equal to minus one by cos a by one by sin a whole square. Okay, students, that is equal to that is equal to what? A fraction by another fra fraction. Take the reciprocal of the denominator and multiply. So we will get. This minus will be the minus sine a by cos a whole square. That is equal to. We know sine a by cos a it is tan a, and there is a negative over here. Okay, so that is minus of tan a whole square. Okay, students, that is equal to squaring a negative term. It will become positive. tan isn't it so positive minus zero minus it became positive tan square a so that is again we reach to the arches okay hence it is proved hope it is clear so students by this we have all, uh, done almost all the questions of this chapter 8 trigonometry and uh, we will be further solving more questions from rd sharma okay once if i complete all the other chapters okay thank you bye